What is going on guys, this is Johnny here of Fletch Container on YouTube, and finally, I'm done with the alpha version of Moonlight OS, the first ever official release of Moonlight OS is finally here guys, and um, it's been over two months now uh, since I started the Moonlight OS development, and I'm very, very glad that I can finally uh, make a video of the alpha version, which is an official release version, so you can download the description of the video. Alright, so once you downloaded Moonlight OS, in case you have, then you're going to have this Moonlight OS release file right here, and it's going to be a .zip archive, so you need an unarchive to extract it. But before you do this, I really recommend you to make a new folder, because there are a bunch of files in that .zip file, so you should really make a new folder to store all of the Moonlight, so the internal files, uh, in one folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this folder Moonlight. Just put this in there. And now I'm going to see. <clears throat> and okay well okay alright oh uh, no that was not supposed to happen okay so uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and extract it uh, using WinRAR alright and as you can probably see there are a lot of files in the Moonlight OS folder so as you can see it's yeah <laughs> a pretty complex thing Alright, now I would really recommend you to move that Moonlight OS release .zip file out of here. Uh, if you leave that in here, it's gonna get deleted. Um, and yeah, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm not gonna explain too much about this. So uh, this is just the documents folder where you can store all your Moonlight internal files in case you have any. So if you want to make a text document or anything like that, or anything which has something to do with Moonlight OS, you can store that in your documents. Um, also, there's a dot readme file, or uh, no, not dot readme, but just a readme file. And this readme file is basically just um, a little bit of information about Moonlight OS, actually. So, uh, just to sum this up, so you should not, or uh, it's not possible to use Moonlight OS if you have any operating system below Windows 7, so XP or Vista won't work. And um, I made this uh, entirely on my own. And. Um, it's recommended to keep every single file of Moonlight OS and Moonlight OS, the application itself, in the folder right here. So do not move any of those files out of here. Even this temp file right here, it's just a temporary solution. It's not a temporary file you have in your computer. You have to keep that there. Don't even worry about that. So uh, yeah, just a couple of things uh, which are important. Alright, so now, without any further ado, let's get to Mr. Moonlight OS and the alpha version of it. Finally, after a pretty long time. <coughs> now let's hope that my computer... Alright, finally. Alright, so... Uh, this is the Ogden winner, but you should already know this. Uh, I actually just realized in a previous video. Um, now, if you don't already have an account, you can create an account right here. But uh, I do have one, so I don't have to do this. Alright, so... I just log it in. And hopefully you will be able to see Moonlight OS now. So here it is. This is the main window of Moonlight OS. Um, yeah, I think you have already watched my previous video. If you haven't, then you can do that because I'm just going to explain the new features of Moonlight OS. So the first one would be, of course, the calculator that I finally implemented. Um, it's just a basic calculator, so you can, I don't know, get a tutorial of three or something, or you can... Uh, um, get the square root of 9 or something like that and you can multiply that then again by 8 and divide that by 2 and things like that are really working so that's quite good alright and um, that's actually about it for the calculator right now uh, no, uh, I haven't implemented the formula calculator actually but alright that just doesn't really matter um, then you got uh, we got the Source code viewer, which is uh, working a little better, but not too much of a change there either. But uh, what we got right now is some uh, a contact organizer. So in case you have any contacts to organize, so if you have like a lot of contacts, and, you know, I don't know, and you need to access them or email things and stuff like that, then you can actually do that by yeah, going to that uh, Johnny guy right here. So that does actually work just about fine. And um, now what we got right here is actually just um, some information, so you can actually change this to something else, and then you can save this. 
And if you open that again, it's actually going to stay there so that never your contact will never disappear. That's one thing I can guarantee. And um, just for some of you who want to play a little bit, uh, I don't know, uh, as an example, Hangman, I'm going to add more games, of course, and more applications, that's for sure. But um, let's try if I can guess this word, so I'm just going to... Okay, I, O, M, I... I don't even know. It's like 3,000 words. Uh, I don't know. Ah! I can. Oh, I can. So now we got I can. You can guess the whole word, and it's, if the word is correct, and now you could play again, or things like that, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, and, um, alright, so that's the Hangman game, and now what we got as well is so Attack, Encrypt, and Decrypt, so in case you have a pretty insecure password, you can make it very secure. Because the only thing you have to remember is the encrypt key, and now you have to enter a text to encrypt. So, for example, I don't know, Moonlight. And uh, this, the encrypt key is the only thing you have to remember. So that's important. Uh, and then you can store this Moonlight in a note or something like that. And then you can encrypt it and put this as your password. And you're going to have the most secure password ever. And uh, the only thing you have to remember again is this encrypt key, and you have to store this moonlight or the text to encrypt in a node or a text document. Alright, so this is pretty helpful, and then, yeah, again, you could just copy this key and place it in your, uh, I don't know, put it on Facebook or something like that, I don't even know. Um, then we got uh, the Admin console, so the Admin programming language, I further developed that. But before I even get to that, I'm just going to quickly show you the, uh, the about. Things. So this basically just some basic information about Moonlight OS um, and things like that. And now I'm just gonna show you a little bit of things. So I further developed the the auto update system, so that's a little better right now. But all right, let's get to some new features. So let's say I have that kind of things, and and you already know that quit all and hide all thing. But what you can do right now, you can just press Alt and H, and it's gonna hide that immediately. And Alt and Q, it's gonna quit that immediately. Alt and B or actually going to change your background immediately so this is actually quite fast and pretty convenient um, and uh, how do you get those shortcuts? Well you just have to right click here and then you can actually see uh, that you can change your background and there's always the shortcut right behind that um, now uh, another thing which I've implemented is if it, it takes a pretty long time to actually go ahead and uh, you know just store like uh, change your background so what I did actually with Moonlight OS I uh, implemented some drag and drop features so what you can do you can simply drag and drop a background into Moonlight OS and it's gonna change instantly and uh, that is pretty pretty good I believe so it's quite fast and it's just you know pretty nice and you can do this with all types of files so you can get this code file right here and uh, it's gonna get you all the information about this file and it's even gonna tell you if it is a file which is compatible with Moonlight OS so this is just a tax document so of course it's not compatible but as an example if you go ahead and take this script.moon file .moon is basically the file extension for Moonlight OS uh, files you can just drag this in here and it's going to say yes it is compatible because of course it has to be dot, the dot .moon extension. Okay, now um, that's it for that right there. And now what we're going to do, um, I'm just going to show you a couple of new features right here. So uh, I actually, uh, so we're going to get to this script file right now because I improved the programming language. So there are of course a couple of new commands right here so you can see all those commands, so I implement for example print and then you can print hello or something well there's actually just all those commands are of course new but they're not like super super special but they're quite cool so I'm just gonna clear that and I'm gonna show you what we can do with this thing because I implemented a new programming language called add moon script and now how that works is you can finally drag and drop things in here and then it's gonna get the file path so uh, we can open this script file immediately so we can just bam. Now it's gonna say welcome to Ed Moon script. Ed Moon script v0.1 is active. You can change the back color so now I could change the back color and this is basically just the script and you can change the four color here. Now let's say for example we have a nice little blue here so bam it changes and now now let's get the origin colors and that's it. Now it's gonna say Ed Moon script is inactive. So that is actually how it works and it's pretty nice actually so uh, this does work and how that works this programming language is basically all you have to do is you just have to 
put all these commands together. So just, you know, put one command and uh, just make a new line. So just press enter and then the, no the next command and stuff like that. And that's actually all you have to do in order to use the Atomoon script language, kind of. Okay, so that's a new feature. And uh, now I'm actually going to get uh, to the voice control because I think we're pretty much done with the very, very new features here. So let's get to the voice control. Of course, have the commands. Mm. Hello, Moonlight OS. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Horrible. Hello, Moonlight OS. Hello, Moonlight OS. Hello, Moonlight Death. How are you, Moonlight OS? I am fine, and you, Moonlight Death. I'm fine. How was your day, Moonlight OS? My day was nice. I made some databases. Cool. Play music. Which music do you want me to play? Hmm. Stop music. Stop music. Thank you. You're welcome. Check for updates. Moonlight OS is running the latest version. What is Moonlight OS? The Moonlight operating system has been created to simplify certain tasks you have to complete on your computer on a daily basis. Nice. Moonlight OS is fast, reliable, and has a lot of features. Although the program is fully working right now, it is still in the alpha version, so it's not completely bug-free. If you can't find any bugs or errors which occur repeatedly, please report them using the built-in report system. Moonlight OS has been developed by Johnny Manson. Alright. Disable voice control. Disable voice control. Voice control is now disabled. Alright, so this is Moonlight OS. I hope you like that presentation of Moonlight OS. Um, yes. And uh, that's actually about it. It's available to download in the description. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.